When you think about building powerful automations, one of the most important concepts to understand is how data flows from one step to the next. For automation to be truly powerful, they need to carry information from point A to point B. This is what makes them dynamic and adaptable to real-world scenarios. Let's consider an example. Imagine a client submits a form via JotForm during their onboarding process with an agency. The data from that form gets passed to an email that is automatically sent to the entire team. And then using the same data, a new task is created in ClickUp to track the client's progress. At each step, data is passed from one service to the next, making the automation flow seamlessly. This concept is called passing data. It allows your automations to carry information from one step to another making each action more powerful by building on the data produced by the previous steps. Without passing data, automations can still run, but they're more static. For example, a flow that sends a weekly Slack reminder for a meeting might not need to pass any data. It just runs on a schedule without relying on information from previous steps. We actually built this exact flow in the previous video. So if you followed along, you're already familiar with how it works. If not, don't worry, we've added a link to all the other chapters in the description below so you can catch up anytime. Circling back, now while this kind of automation is useful, it doesn't have the same flexibility or impact as one that passes data dynamically. In Active Pieces, flows are designed to move data from one step to another. Each step in your flow can access the data produced by the steps before it. Here's how it works. Step one is the main data producer. This data is available for all the following steps. Step two can access data from step one and produce its own data for subsequent steps. Step three has access to the data from both step one and step two. This is how Active Pieces lets data flow through the steps in your automation, ensuring that each action has the information it needs to perform its tasks. Now, let's dive into how you can pass data between steps in your flow. In this flow, we've already set up a JotForm trigger for a new client submission, an automatic email action to notify the team, and a task creation action in ClickUp. Let's go over how the data is passed between each of these steps. The JotForm trigger collects client data from the form submission. This includes details like the client's name, email, and goals. This data becomes the source of the rest of the flow and it will be passed to the next steps. In the email action step, we'll use the data from the JotForm submission to compose the email that will be sent to the team. In the email body, we'll insert client-specific data such as their name and goals. To ensure this data is available, make sure you've tested the JotForm step earlier. Testing the step allows active pieces to pull in sample data that can be used in the following steps. Once you've tested the JotForm step, Place your cursor in the email body and the data selector panel will appear. From there, we'll select the relevant data from the JotForm submission. This is how we pass data from JotForm to the email step. Once the email is sent, the next step is to create the new task in ClickUp. The data from the JotForm submission will be passed into the ClickUp task, allowing us to automatically populate the task with the client's details. Just like with the email, place your cursor in the task description field and the data to insert panel will appear. Select the appropriate client data from the JotForm submission. This passes the data to the ClickUp task creation step, ensuring that the task contains all the information needed for the team to start working. By passing data from JotForm to the email and then to ClickUp, we've created an automation that dynamically uses client information at every stage of the workflow. To verify that everything is working correctly, test the flow. The data should flow seamlessly from the form submission into the email and then into the ClickUp task. That's how you pass data between steps and active pieces. By moving data through each step, you create dynamic automations that are tailored to the specific information they're processing. In the next video, we'll be diving into working with files, showing you how to automate file handling within your workflows from uploading to organizing. If you're ready to take your automation skills even further, Click the video on the screen to keep learning and dive into the next part of the series. Thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe if you're loving the Active Pieces 101 series. See you in the next video.